ACG recording should be carried out in a warm, ventilated room for the patient's comfort. Before recording an ACG, the patient needs a 10-minute rest. ACG registration is carried out in the supine position. At the beginning of the ACG, it is necessary to ask the patient to undress to the waist, take off his shoes and take off his jewelry. We ask the patient to lie down on the couch. We start by applying electrodes. When we apply electrodes to improve contact with the skin, it is necessary to use a gel. We shoot 12 leads, free standard, free rainforest, and six chest leads. For registration leads from the extremities, we use four electrodes which are applied to the extremities with the help of a plastic clips. The electrode is brought out to a mantle plate on one side. We apply this electrode to the inner surface of the patient's extremities. Electrodes have a standard coloration, international. The procedure for applying electrodes to the limbs. Right hand, red electrode. Left hand, yellow electrode. Left leg, green electrode. And right leg, black electrode. It is not active, ground electrode. Eindhoven's triangle is the basis of the ACG. It consists of free standard lean pleats and registers the potential difference between the electrodes applied to the limbs. Lead 1, right hand, negative electrode, left hand, positive electrode. Lead 2, right hand, negative electrode, left leg, positive electrode. Lead 3, left hand, negative electrode, left leg, positive electrode. This lead configuration is called standard lean pleats ACG. For the convenience of memorization, you can recall the colors of the traffic lights. The order of placing the electrodes corresponds to the order of lightening the colors at the traffic light. We use gel again for setting the chest leads. Procedure for applying chest electrodes. Locations. First electrode, red, for intercostal space along the right edge of the sternum. Second electrode, yellow, for intercostal space along the left edge of the sternum. Fourth electrode, brown. 5 intercostal space along the midclavicular line on the left side. Third electrode, green, applied after fourth electrode in the middle between second and fourth electrodes. 5 H parasternal line. Fifth electrode, black, 5 intercostal space, anterior axillary line. Sixth electrode, purple, fifth intercostal space, middle axillary line. The layout of the chest electrodes will look like this. After all the electrodes are applied, we start ACG registration. We turn on the cardiograph. We include it in the network. The cardiograph power button is located on the side surface. To adjust the device, there is a button for the amplitude, millimeters per millivolt, and a button that changes the speed of the tape, millimeters per second. The change in amplitude affects the height of the teeth. There are two ACG recording speeds, 
25 and 50 mm per second. To register, we press the start stop button. All leads are recorded automatically. In order to start taking an ACG, we ask the patient not to talk, not to move and lay still. ACG is a sequential recording of a potential difference between the different parts of the body, the occurrence of which is due to the electromagnetic field around the heart during the spread and disappearance of excitement in it. Disconnect the electrodes When the ACG is complete, the doctor asks the patient his first and last name and age, signs the date of the ACG. After registration the ACG, wipe the gel off the patient Turn off the device. Turn it off from the network. The patient can dress now. ACG registration is over. Let's consider the basic concepts. The heart is capable of automaticity and has its own pacemaker which generates electrical impulses and directs them into the conducting system. The pacemaker is located in the right atrium at the confluence of vena cava, that is, in the sinus, and therefore is called the sinus node and the excitation pulse emanating from the sinus node is called the sinus impulse, respectively. In a healthy person, the sinus node generates electrical impulses with a frequency of 60-90 per minute, evenly sending them alone with the conducting system of the heart. Following it, these impulses cover with the excitement the parts of the myocardium adjacent to the pathways and are recorded graphically on the tape as a curved ACG line. Consequently, an electrocardiogram is a graphical display registration of the passage of an electrical impulse through the conducting system of the heart. A dipole is a system of two equal in magnitude positive and negative poles, located at a distance from each other in a conductive medium. The heart is a current dipole in which, when it is exciting, a redistribution of charges occurs. Getting started ACG decoding. ACG analysis consists of the analysis of rhythm, electrical axis of the heart position, heart rate per minute, characteristics of waves, intervals, segments. Conclusion on the ACG Before proceeding with the interpretation of the ACG tape, you need to see what is the speed of this tape. 25 mm per second Therefore, 25 millimeters in one second, five large squares. Amplitude of the waves, 10 millimeters per millivolt, rectangle at the beginning of a recording. 
Also, another parameter is distinguished – voltage. Voltage is the sum of the amplitudes of the QRS complex waves, measured to exclude cardiac pathologies. The algebraic sum of the R wave amplitude is positive, and the Q and S waves are negative. Point 1. Analysis of the rhythm This cardiogram shows sinus rhythm, as it meets the following characteristics. Heart rate 60 to 90 P positive in first, second, AVF, V2 to V6 leads QRS less than or equal to 0 0.1 second R equals R, P before QRS This ACG provides an example of a non-sinus rhythm Point 2 Electrical axis of the heart position. The electrical axis of the heart is the main direction of propagation of excitation in the heart, showing the projection of the total vector of the QRS ACG complex, reflecting the excitation of the ventricles of the heart on the frontal plane. The electrical axis of the heart coincides with the anatomical axis of the heart and can be vertical, oblique and horizontal. These images show various positions of the electrical axis of the heart. Normogram, horizontal position, vertical position, deviation to the right, deviation to the left. On the patient's cardiogram, the electrical axis of the heart is not rejected, normogram, since the maximum R is in the second lead. With a normogram, the voltage is considered in the second lead. There are two ways to determine the electrical axis of the heart. 1. Visual. 2. Algebraic. Visual method. To determine the electrical axis of the heart, we look at the maximum amplitude of the R wave in standard leads. Algebraic method. This method is based on calculating the sum of QRS complexes in the first and third leads. To find the algebraic sum of the QRS waves, you need to measure in millimeters the size of each wave of one QRS complex, while the Q and S waves are negative, since they are below the isoelectric line, and the R wave is positive. If any wave is missing, then its value equals zero. Further, according to the table, we determine the value of the angle alpha. Lead 1, Q plus R plus S equals 0 plus 2 minus 3 equals minus 1 millimeters. Lead 3, Q plus R plus S equals minus 3 plus 20 minus 1 equals plus 16 millimeters. Using the table for calculating the degree of deviation of the heart axis number 2, we got a value of plus 93 degrees, which corresponds to the vertical position of the heart axis. Point 3. Heart rate per minute. The formula for calculating the heart rate is as follows. Heart rate equals 60 divided by R to R. We consider the distance from one R wave to the adjacent R wave. The resulting number must be multiplied depending on the tape recording speed, either by 0 0.04, 425 mm per second, or by 0 0.02, 
for 50 millimeters per second. We divide 60 by the resulting number. The calculation of the heart rate for the patient's cardiogram is as follows. Heart rate equals 60 divided by R to R equals 60 divided by 18 multiplied by 0 0.04 equals 60 divided by 0 0.72 equals 83 beats per minute. Point 4. Characteristics of waves, intervals, segments. Characteristics of waves, intervals and segments are presented in the following table. P wave reflects depolarization of the atria. PQ interval conducting PD along with the cardiac conduction system from the CA to the AV node and further to the ventricular myocardium, including atrioventricular retention. Q wave excitation of the apex of the heart and the right papillary muscle. R wave excitation of the bulk of the ventricles. S wave the end of ventricular excitation. QRS complex coverage of ventricular excitation. ST segment reflects the process of full coverage of ventricular excitation. The duration is highly depend on the heart rate. Mixing this segment up or down by more than 1 mm may indicate myocardial ischemia. T wave repolarization of the ventricles. QT interval the duration of the cycle of depolarization repolarization of the ventricles. Point 5. Conclusion on the ACG 1. Rhythm Sinus 2. Electrical axis of the heart Normogram with the vertical position of the axis of the heart 3. Heart rate 83 beats per minute 4. Disorders of waves, segments and intervals were not revealed Practical work Electrocardiography ACG recording and analysis. In this lesson, recording is made in standard second lead. You will examine the components of the ACG, measure their amplitude and duration. We begin to fill out the protocol by indicating the date, name, age of the patient and gender. Fill in the table as follows. After filling out the table, answer the theoretical questions. Approximate answers to questions. We wish you success in your laboratory work. Thank you for your attention.